Ni. Naibu Rais Rigathi Gashagwa mawashtumu viongozi wa eneo la Pwani kwa kujitia hamnazo kuhusu kero la dawa za kulevia. Akizungumza alipoongoza kongamano la vita dhidi ya pombe haramu na dawa za kulevia, Naibu Rais amesema kwamba inasikitisha mno kwamba baadhi ya viongozi wa Jimbo hilo wanasusia mikutano kama hiyo. Na kama anavyoarifu mwanahabari wetu Jeff Kirui, Waziri wa Usalama wa Ndani Profesa Kithure Kindiki, amesema swala hilo sasa ni tishio kwa usalama wa taifa. Jinamizi la uraibu wa pombe haramu na dawa za kulevya limevutia jicho la serikali na kwamba eneo la Pwani ni mojawapo ya maeneo yaliyoathirika zaidi na Ibu Rais Rigathi Gachagua amewalaumu viongozi wa eneo hilo Why are leaders in coast quiet? Are they scared of the drug barons? Are they scared? These are elected leaders. Mbona wanaogopa kuongea? Or could it be some of these drug barrels wali wasaidia wakitafuta viti this is a question we ask it because why are people quiet naibu rais gashagwa aliwalaumu baadhi ya viongozi wa kaunti za pwani kwa kususia kongamano hilo la vita dhidi ya pombe haramu na dawa za kulevia lililofanyika katika kaunti ya mombasa why are some not here this is a very important conference to discuss the very existence of our population in this region Jimbo la Pwani hasa kaunti ya Mombasa ni mojawapo ya maeneo ambayo yameathirika pakubwa na uraibu wa dawa za kulevya. Wakuu serikalini sasa wakisema watachukua hatua kali kudhibiti hali. Na mimi kama mnaogopa hao hao drug barrels mimi siwaogopi. Hata huyu profesa wangu hawaogopi. Hata huyu IG hawaogopi. Once we discover certain outlets, buildings, facilities are threatening the survival of the nation, we shut them up, we shut them down we will be able to discuss these other things about licensing later on because we cannot allow a murderer to continue murdering Kenyans because they are licensed Waziri wa Usalama wa Ndani Profesa Kidhure Kindiki amewataka idara za usalama kuwajibika ili kuzuia uuzaji na usambazaji wa pombe haramu na dawa za kulevya akitoa onyo kwa wakuu wa usalama kwamba watafurushwa kazini na kuchukuliwa hatua za kisheria iwapo watazembea kwenye majukumu yao And the chiefs no who is selling these drugs wanajua OCS at the local police station no who is selling these drugs the people from the criminal investigation directly they know yet things are just going on any official in the law enforcement and public service space who through action or inaction contributes to the death of kenyans through negligence they allow dangerous criminals organized criminals including drug barons to have their way to access the public that officer will not be transferred as you've said your excellency elsewhere because every inch of our territory requires efficient services and the protection of its national security organs Haya yanajiri siku chache baada ya watu ishirini kuripoti wa kufariki baada ya kubugia pombe haramu katika kaunti ya Kirinyaga. Kwa mujibu wa waziri Kidhure Kindiki, serikali sasa inawalenga wauzaji, wasafirishaji na wazalishaji wa pombe haramu na dawa za kulevya. We have placed them on the same category where we have placed terrorists, extremists and bandits there is no difference kampeni ya serikali dhidi ya pombe haramu inaendelea katika baadhi ya maeneo nchini jeff kirui ktn news na mtazamaji tukiachana